Hello and welcome to Mass for this Wednesday within the octave of Easter. As we gather together in joy, let us gather together in song at singing Alleluia, Alleluia. Let the holy anthem rise, number 171 in the breaking bread, number 171. Alleluia, Alleluia, let the holy anthem rise, and the choirs of heaven chant it in the temple of the skies. Let the mountains skip with gladness, and the joyful valleys ring with hosannas in the highest to our Savior and our King. Alleluia, alleluia, like the sun from out the wave. He has risen up in triumph from the darkness of the grave. He's the splendor of the nations. He's the lamp of endless day. He's the very Lord of glory, who is risen up today. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and my sisters, as we gather together on this weekday of Easter, we humbly allow Christ into our hearts that just as he was raised from the dead, so our hearts may be raised up in glory with Christ. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. And you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to, to everlasting life. Amen. And we say the glory today. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intensely at him, as did John, and said, Look at us. He paid attention to them. Expect, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have, I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He 
He leapt up, stood, and walked around them, and went into the temple area with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, Sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he the Lord is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. That very day, the first day of the week, two of Jesus' disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them. But their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, What are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, looking downcast. One of them named Cleopas said to him in reply, Are you the only visitor to Jerusalem who does not know of these things that have taken place there in these days? And he replied to them, What sort of things? They said to him, Things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who is a prophet, mighty in deed and word, before God and all the people. How our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And besides all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning and did not find his body. He came back and reported that they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found things just as the woman had described. But him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart! to believe all that the prophets spoke. Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to, to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on further. But they urged him, stay with us. For it is nearly evening, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that, while he was with them at table, he took bread, set the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. 
Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us, while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures to us? So they set out at once and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven and those with them who were saying, The Lord has truly been raised, and has appeared to Simon. Then the two recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, well, let's not be too hard on poor Cleopas this morning and his companion. It's been a devastating several days for these, for these apostles. As disciples of Jesus, you know, they had invested so much time, so much energy, and so much emotion into him and his teaching. But then as the anticipation and excitement they felt a week earlier when Jesus entered into Jerusalem triumphantly on Palm Sunday, that was abruptly cut short by his crucial death. And it's no wonder that their thoughts were troubled and that they could see nothing but this bleak future. And so they left their other disciples back in Jerusalem and set out for Emmaus. After all, they were only human. And that's just the point. They couldn't recognize Jesus because he joined them on the road, because their faith had suffered this troubling blow. And that's exactly where Jesus inserted himself into their conversation. He explained the scriptures to them from his heavenly perspective. And his words, they stirred something deep in their hearts, and they began to feel this sense of hope again. And it all came together when Jesus blessed and broke bread. The word of God, the power of revelation, and their hearts were newly set on fire. Finally, they saw Jesus. And isn't that the story of our lives as well? So often we think our circumstances, our families, or the world around us, we think of them as any normal human being would. Sometimes that leaves us discouraged or believing that Jesus isn't very close to us. But nothing can be further from the truth. Jesus is never absent. He's always walking alongside with us. He longs to stir our hearts through his word and through his presence. The disciples in today's gospel, the, the, that reading, they had to slow down to listen to Jesus. They had to stop their discussion to hear him. So today, let's slow down and listen to him. Let us sit down, pull out our Bible, ask him to open the scriptures to us. And if we do, we'll see that he was with us all along. He's with us in God's word. He's here with us in the bread and wine. So when we see him, may we be like these two when, we, when he saw Jesus. May we be like these two who went out and spread the good news of Jesus' resurrection. The Lord is with us on our journey of life, and therefore we call upon him today to hear our prayers. We pray for all the church throughout the world, that, that it may walk with those who need to see Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are anxious and worried about many things, whose hearts are troubled, just like the disciples' hearts were troubled today. We pray that the Lord may enter into their lives and may comfort them and show them his presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those struggling or doubting their own faith. We pray for those who do not believe in God or who have fallen away from, from the church. We pray that through our example as Christians, through the, through the witness of saints and through the power of Christ himself, that their hearts may be set on fire again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those suffering from natural disasters, from tornadoes, from floods, from earthquakes, from fires. We pray that 
they may receive the resources they need to rebuild. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of the parishioners of our parishes. We pray for all those who have no one to pray for them. We pray that their prayers may be heard this day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all those who have gone before us, knowing the truth that Christ is with them. We pray that they may be raised up with Christ into his heavenly glory. We pray, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, hear the prayers we offer before you now, and grant them as you granted the prayers of so many people before us. We ask all of these prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of the offering, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing this sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence you rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. And let us offer each other a sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. prayer of spiritual communion. Precious Jesus, although I greatly desire it, at this moment I am unable to receive you in the most holy Eucharist. Therefore I beseech you, O Lord, to bestow upon me, mystically, all those graces I would otherwise receive. Fill me up until I am overflowing, so that I may in turn share those graces with the rest of the world. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. I want to thank you for joining me for Mass this, this, this day and I uh, wish you a blessed day to come. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God, alleluia, alleluia. As we go forth, let us again sing the uh, last verse of number 171. Alleluia, alleluia. Let the holy anthem rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed Jesus, make us rise from the life of this corruption to the life that never dies. May your glory be our portion when the days of time are past and the dead shall be awakened by the trumpet's mighty blast. 